So today I'm going to be showing you all the best Destiny fashion based off characters and enemies from Elden Ring. This is by far my biggest video yet with 40 unique sets. And if you want to see a part 2 of this then let's get this video to 2000 likes. Also be sure to subscribe and join my discord so that you can participate in my upcoming videos. And with all out the way it's time to get straight into the video. So we start off in Limgrave with the NPC White Mask Vare. Now on the right you can see this Destiny set based off this NPC and immediately what caught my attention was the mask. Definitely the best helmet you could have used in Destiny to fit this look. Now they went with a warlock to get these nice cloth robes. As you can see they used the Shida Scarlet Semblance which is perfect in this set as it gives it a bloody look. Really good job to Brump on this White Mask Vare set. Now just as you move onward from this NPC you will be greeted by Tree Sentinel. Definitely a challenging boss to fight early game and here is a Destiny set that very well matches its appearance. Great use of the just returned Iron Companion helmet and you can see that throughout the set they went with this nice royal plated design while also keeping with the bulkiness. The shade of Callus's shadow very well blends all these pieces together and gives a nice gold to match the Tree Sentinel. So really good job to Uru Gaming on the set. Now for any of you that explore during Nightfall in Elden Ring you will come across these Knights Cavalry. I absolutely love how these bosses look and you can find them with various different weapons. Here is a Destiny set though that I think really well matches their design. Once again the Iron Companion helmet for the Titan is a perfect choice as it's one of the few helmets with this fur bit on the top. Now they also went with the Devastation Complex to add more fur around the collar of the set and I do think that really does help to match the Knights Cavalry helmet. So yeah this is a pretty accurate representation of the enemy in Destiny 2 and really good job to Gwacy Fashion on the set. Now if you've ever done the Rainy Questline or gone to Mistwood Ruins you would have heard and seen the character Blythe. This is one of my favourite characters in Elden Ring and if you didn't know their name is actually Welsh which is fitting as I myself am from Wales and so I decided to make my own Destiny set based off this character. Here you can see I used the Canis Luna Mask with the Light King Cloak to recreate the wolf head as well as the fur cloak. Now I found this shader and silver snare to be perfect for the plating as it gives it a nice silver shine as well as make the cloth this nice blue. Here is the transmog for any of you that want to make it for yourself and I also have an alternative look to this set that changes the helmet and cloak. So with this one I use the Roboraptor helmet with the wolf's with cloak. From the side you can see that this helmet adds this bottom jaw that matches the cloak very well and pretty much makes it look like a wide open wolf mouth. But yeah I do I do hope you all like my Blythe set and let me know in the comments which one of these two you prefer. Then next I wanted to make a set based off the Golem Archers. These can be found throughout various locations in the game and you will be able to find some early on in Castle Morn. Now here is the Titan set that I made based off the Archer Golem. You could see on the enemy that they glow towards their torso and also their legs. And that is why on my set I used the Vulcan's Heart Exotic to get the glow on the chest. And the Epilos following boots as they have that slight orange and red glow. For the shader I used Lawful Neutral as it give it a nice worn down and rocky look. Now here is another Archer Golem set that was from my discord and what I particularly like about this one is how they handled the glows on the chest. They instead used the Solstice 2020 plate which you can see has solar glows seeping through the cracks and with their shaders they were with a darker look instead of a stone grey. Here is their transmog and really good job to Brump on the set. Now moving on to a different area we have the Shifra River. By the way you can let me know in the comments if I butchered any of the names throughout this video as I know I'm probably going to get at least one of them wrong and if I do I do apologise. But anyways one of the bosses in this area is the Ancestor Spirit and here is a hunter set from my discord that is based off the boss. What I instantly love about this is the use of the new Dawning Arms and Cloak. They add these nice candle bits that are sticking up and they very well match the glowing antlers of the Ancestor Spirit. They also also use the shader Burnished Dreams which if you don't know has this sort of animated water effect. So really good job to Mr. Merka on the Hunter set. Now we actually have another set that is based off this boss but is instead on the Warlock. They use the Capriolin Axe exotic ornament to mimic the antlers. Now what I also like is how they use the shader Queen's Colors to give the horns a nice shiny blue which really helps to make them look like
kept it glowing and then on the other pieces they kept with this nice dark green and fur design and overall I think this perfectly fits the boss so really good job to actual throw. Now if you push further into this area you can actually find another boss called the Dragon King Soldier and sure is a titan set from my discord that is based off this boss. I love how unique this looks and there are certain parts that fit really well. For example the helmet is pretty much spot on and the chest plate has this sort of exposed rib cage design. With the shaders as well they were able to get this sort of scaly texture so really good job to Uru Gaming on this unique titan set. Now another challenging enemy that you'll encounter in this area as well as various other locations in the game is the Crucible Knight. Now what I love just as much as the incredible armor design is this Warlock set. The helmet matches so well with its shape and with the shoulder plating on these robes it definitely fits this heavy plated design. Now here is another set from my discord but it's instead for the Titan. Again another great use of the helmet and for the Titan I do think this is one of the best pieces they could have gone with. The gold as well as the shoulder the plating also matches very well and even the way the mark is shaped fits pretty well with the cloth on the Crucible Knight. So really good job to Mizuka and Asian Moneygan on their Crucible Knight set. Then next we move on to the area of Kaelid and more specifically the boss Star Scourge Radan. This is one of the coolest bosses in the game and I would highly recommend checking out their lore. It's also a fantastic fight and a beautiful arena and I think this titan set really well matches the boss. The helmet in my opinion is a perfect choice as we don't really have anything that has these tusks coming out the front. And even though they don't have fur on the top of the helmet, they do have some around the collar from the chest plate. You will also notice that the arms and boots have this line engraving just like the boss. And this shader also helps the plating to fit really well as it gives a sort of worn down brushed gold. So yeah, really good job to Techno Viking on this Redan set. Then moving on to one of the most beautiful locations in the game we have the Academy of Raya Lucaria. Within this academy we'll be looking at one boss in particular and this is the Red Wolf of Radigan. Here is a hunter set called the Slayer of the Red Wolf. And the idea behind this is that it's a silver knight that is wearing the Red Wolf of Radigan as its cloak. Very good use of the new Iron Banner shader which gives cloth a chainmail effect. And this really does help the set to look more like a knight. So really good job to Gwacy Fashion. Now I was also inspired by this set and wanted to make my own version of it. So what I did was go with the shader Scarlet Semblance to give my plate in a bloody look. So it's as if the wolf has just been slain. And for the helmet I'm using the Robo Raptor to make my character look like they're wearing the full head of the wolf. So yeah, really good job again to Gwacy Fashion and I hope you all like my set inspired by their idea. Now we're going to be going into one of the further areas in the game, Altus Plateau. Now depending on where you go in this area, you can actually come across a Black Knife Assassin. This was actually the most popular enemy that people based their sets off of. And there were two sets in particular that I felt were worth showing. This first one is absolutely outstanding. The cloak choice is by far the best they could have gone with. And you could see they're using a faceless hunter look as the Black Knife Assassin has no apparent face. Really good job to Accelero on their Black Knife Assassin set. Now here is the other set and again it is on Hunter as this is pretty much the perfect class for this. The big difference with this one though is that they went with a clean plated design. Though I don't think it's as good as Accelero's I still think they did a really damn good job with it. So nice work as well from Versio. Now going further north of Altus Plateau you will actually find this village and within the village is a boss called the Godskin Apostle. Given the difficulty of recreating this set I think this Hunter did really well. The helmet as well as the use of cloth throughout match very well with the boss and what I especially like is the use of the opulent stalker chest plate as it does add this sort of dual design and as you can see on the boss it does have this sort of amulet on the chest so really good job again to Gwacy Fashion. Now we're going to be going over to the shaded castle and in particular the boss Elmer of the Briar. This warlock set I think fits really well with the boss design. The scorned baron robes are a great choice because of the barbed wire look so fantastic job to Gwacy Fashion on the Elm of the Briar set. 
Then as you approach the city of Lindell, you will be greeted by a draconic tree sentinel. This for me is one of my favourite enemy designs, and I think this titan set really well mimics this in Destiny. The Thorian chest plate with the Epilos following arms and boots are just perfect for this scaly plated design. The hardest part is definitely the helmet, but I do think the Forbidden Visage was their best choice. The Shida Testudo also gives this plate in the perfect gold to match the boss. So really good job to Monkey Snail on this titan set. Now as you progress further into the city and closer to the tree, you will be greeted by Morgoth the Omen King. I was really surprised when I seen this Warlock set as it turned out really well, and this was one of the bosses I did not expect to see a set for. The robes with the shader is just spot on, and the most difficult part which is the helmet I think they executed really well with the Corrupting Echo. So really good job to Accelero and props for being able to use 5 different armor pieces and shaders. Now this next boss we're going to be looking at is located in the Consecrated Snowfields and is a still natural born of the void. Now this first set that we're going to be looking at is the one that I made for the Hunter. You can see I used the Kefri Stin exotic arms to match the fangs on the boss. And I used the shader Seven Sisters to get this nice galaxy texture on the cloak and boots. The helmet I also think fits pretty well as it does have that skull design just like the boss's head. And overall I think I did a pretty good job with my Estel inspired Hunter set. Now here is another set from my discord that is based off Estelle and is on the Warlock. They instead use the Winds of Sacred Dawn to match the wing design of the boss. And like with my set they use the Shida Seven Sisters on the cloth pieces to gain galaxy texture. I also like how they use the horns on this helmet to somewhat resemble the fangs. So really good job to Uru Gaming on the set. Then this next set is based off what is considered one of the hardest bosses in the game. She is located in the Halig Tree and is known as Melania Blade of Mikula. Now this here is the warlock set that I made based off this boss. So what I did was I used the Nemin hood as it does have this wing design and matches the helmet pretty well. You can see that I used the street scholar gloves as well as the Prometheum spear exotic to somewhat match the prosthetics. Now the hardest part about making this set was finding the perfect robes. There are very few that match this sort of color design and there aren't that many shaders in the game that help match this color scheme. But overall I do think I did an amazing job with this set. Set. and feel free to let me know in the comments what sort of robes you would have used for Melania. Then moving on to this next set which is based off a boss in Mogwin's palace and this is Moog the Lord of Blood. Now what really makes this warlock set give off the look of Moog are the Lectus robes. With this shader and the way it comes down it's definitely the best fit and with this helmet and bond it also very well matches Moog's horns. This is definitely one of the hardest bosses that you could have made this set based off of but I really like how creative it turned out so really good job to Zion. Then next we have a set based off one of the NPCs Dung Eater. This set in terms of its bulkiness and the way it looks with the shader really well fits the NPC and I think it's just a great use of the Eater of Worlds chest ornaments so really good job to Accelero on their Donita set. Now before I show you all my Godfrey and Elden Beast inspired sets, I firstly want to show you all some fashion based off armor sets and weapons. This first one is based off the Rotten Do List set and I particularly like how they use the Warmind Avatar Cloak to mimic the cloak shaping. Really good job to Gwacy Fashion on making the set. Then we have this Hunter based off the Knight set. Fantastic use of different armor pieces and shaders to give off the look of a knight. And this was made by Owen Pappy. Then moving on we have this titan which is based off the Raging Wolf set. Now what I really like is the use of the Gian exotic ornament. The helmet has this sort of beak design and I think that matches really well. They also managed to use the mark to incorporate some red fur around the waist. So really good job to Asian Money Gan. Now here we have a hunter which is based off the Bloodhound set. Just like with the previous knight set they use the Nemian helmet and the wild hunt cloak. Though with this set they use the shade of Kahe Black as the Bloodhound set does use darker colours. Now this next one is a very interesting one that is based off the Night Maiden set. I really love how they use the helmet and cloak to recreate the headpiece in the set. And the chest plating as well as the cloth on the boots match perfectly with the reference. So fantastic job again to Gwacy Fashion. Then next we have this Warlock set that is based off the Carrier Knight. Every piece in this set I think matches perfectly with the reference 
weapons, and I particularly like how the helmet and robes match. You will also notice some great attention to detail with the gloves, as there is only silver plated on one side of the arm, so great job to Paul Sauer on making this set. Then here we have a Hunter which is based off the Banished Knight set. This is an altered version of the set which has the cloak. It is almost identical in design, so fantastic job to Sins. Now moving on, we have this Warlock which is based off Hoslow's set. This again is the altered version without the horns, and I think the Street Scholar cover as well as the Sanguine Alchemy Exotic were perfect choices in this set. So great job to Gwacy Fashion. Then finally we have this Titan which is based off the Samurai set. Very good choice of shaders, matching the colours almost perfectly with the reference. So good job to Elzindach on the set. Then these next two sets are based off weapons. The first one is based off the Moonlight Greatsword from Rainy's Questline. The armour pieces and shaders were very well selected and give off a glow that matched the weapon. And this set was made by Semi. Then the second set which was based off a weapon was made by myself and I want wanted to base it off the Blasphemous Blade. I went with a full gold knight set to actually match the blade, and then to incorporate the tendrils in my set I used the Nano Redux exotic ornament, and overall I'm really happy with how this turned out, and I would love to see your thoughts in the comments below. Now it's time to move on to the final few sets, with this next one being based off Godfrey the First Elden Lord. This is the titan set that I made and draws inspiration from the boss. You can see I used the Nemean plate as well as the Imperian arms to incorporate break the lion, and the shader gives off this royal look with these white and gold engravings. Overall I think this is a pretty good set, and it does look like someone that would serve Godfrey. Then moving on to the final boss of the game we have the Elden Beast. Now no one from my discord submitted a set based off this boss, as it's quite literally impossible to recreate. But I do have two sets that I made and would like to show you all, as these draw inspiration from the boss. This first one uses the wings of Sacred Dawn, and as you can see I've got this nice galaxy and gold theme throughout. On the wings you can see these rings which I wanted to use to somewhat symbolise the Elden Ring, and overall I am really pleased with how this set turned out. And then this next set is again on the Warlock but uses the Gaze Beyond Worlds exotic ornament. This ornament is what's given this helmet a ring design, and again just like the previous set I wanted it to symbolise the Elden Ring. Now for the shade I chose First Frost as it goes with this dark gold and galaxy like texture on plating. But anyways let me know your thoughts in the comments below Below and how you would execute an Elder Beast set in Destiny. Now before I end the video, I quickly want to show you all one final set that is based off fan art for Elden Ring. This is based off of Frida the Howling Knight, and I think the set made by Comically very well represents this in Destiny. I especially like how they handled the helmets with the Iron Companion Helm and the Light King Cloak. So really good job to Comically on the set, and that pretty much wraps up the video. Massive thank you to everyone that submitted a set for this competition. If you want to see a part 2 to this, then let's get this video to 2000 likes. I will also be doing a Soulsborne fashion competition sometime in the future, so if you want to participate, then join my Discord. Also, be sure to let me know your thoughts on this editing style in the comments. This is much different and bigger to my previous fashion videos, showing more of the environment, so just let me know if you want to see more of that. Also, another massive thank you to every YouTube member that supports in the channel. I really do appreciate it, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.